So with, with, with that said, uh, what belongings um, should homeowners try to save or can they save? You really should try to restore everything. Everything is restorable. Uh, the real question is speed. In the restoration process, the sooner you can get your items in the restoration uh, process and uh, restore working on them, the better. Uh, particularly in a market like Houston, where you've got tremendous humidity, uh, temperatures go up, you need to get items out of the home that's damaged as quickly as possible uh, and in a restorer's hands so they can do their magic. Worst case, if it doesn't restore back to a pre-loss condition or mm. pre-storm condition, you're no worse off. But the attempt to restore should be immediate and uh, you should contact a professional restorer. Yeah. In many cases, uh, people will call their homeowner's insurance company and they may have preferred vendor lists uh, with preferred uh, vendors that are credentialed um, and secure uh, staff coming into your home. Wayne, so we are two weeks out today. Is it too late to start this process if you haven't already? Not at all. We are still servicing a tremendous number of uh, families that have been affected by Burl even over the, this past weekend. We're having a very high success ratio in restoring their items. So the sooner the better, but we're, the storm didn't create that much damage that's non-reversible. So we are having great success and getting uh, hundreds of families back on their feet uh, very quickly. Yeah, yeah, it's really incredible. And as we mentioned, there's still so many folks, you know, in that process, still waiting for lights to become on in some situations. So it's, it's a really trying time. Um, also, too, when it comes time to salvage some of these items, we know there, there are possessions that are heirlooms, right? Family heirlooms, and you, you don't want to lose them. Talk to us about the care that goes into those items compared to, to those that might be a little newer and, and require less attention. Well, it depends what it is. If it's textiles, as an mm -hmm. example, we can immerse those in a solvent or a water-based cleaning solvent and typically uh, reverse any any contaminant, provided there's not a dye, lot, dye transfer or degradation of the actual uh, fabric themselves. If they're hard goods, like electronics, as an example, we have a high rate of success there. Uh, one of the things you want to do if you know a storm's coming is unplug as many things as possible so they don't get a surge. That helps us. But we will do a pre-test, make sure those things mm -hmm. are working in the first place, and then a restore, and then a post-test to clean. So to, to check our cleaning process, make sure it was working. But it's important to know things are working in the first place. Most of the stains and, and damage can be reversed or cleaned and brought to a pre-loss condition. Uh, if it's furniture, as an example, depending on the extent of the, the moisture mm -hmm. infiltration in the, the fabrics and into the, uh, the, the padding, uh, most times, that's a typical drying process can take care of that. And again, if it's wood uh, wood items that are affected, you want to get them out of the environment as quickly as possible so we can dry and uh, prevent any swelling or, or damage to the wood that can't be reversed. So again, speed is the issue no matter what you're yeah. cleaning, whether it's textiles, mm -hmm. electronics, artwork, furniture, et cetera. Wayne, I'm sure you're bringing a lot of peace of mind with your words this morning to, to folks listening. Um, talk to us about what people can do right now looking forward in the event another storm comes this way. Is there anything they can do preventatively to mitigate any sort of threat? Well, it's great to have a generator on your house, first mm -hmm, of all, so you mm -hmm. can get your air conditioning back on track, uh, get your fans blowing. Uh, so if you don't have a home generator, that's something to really consider because following an event, they, they come in really handy and they, they definitely prolong uh, the items in the house if we can get uh, electricity going in the house for heat or, or AC. Um, if you know a storm's coming and you have items that are very special to you, it's always good to pack them up and get them out of there, out of the environment. Uh, if they're electronic items, it's good to unplug as many things as possible. Obviously not your freezers or your refrigerators, but anything that's your computers, phones, et cetera, you wanna unplug those things so they don't take an electrical charge uh, in the event of lightning. And uh, just most importantly, take care of yourself. Your items can be restored if you get a professional restorer in, in place, but you can't oftentimes. So if, they, if the authorities say it's time to move out, people should take notice and move out. We, we see storms all the time where people don't leave when they've been advised to, and it creates much more, uh, much more problems than, than a restorer can handle. But again, key is getting the right restoration company on call or ready. Mm -hmm. And by talking to your insurance company in advance, they typically have preferred vendors that you could start to vet 
uh, before the storm or certainly if you have, a, have an impact. So getting the right restorer in the first place, no matter whether it's your home, physical property, contents, et cetera, is, is job one.